Hello, this is John Mount of WinVector LLC, a San Francisco-based data science company specializing in consulting and training. Today I'd like to talk about step debugging workflows in R, especially workflows arising from Regreeter or Dplyr pipelines. Let's load our example. We have a simple data frame or tibble, and we want to apply a very simple function to it. It's a silly function that forms a few columns by doubling, tripling, or quadrupling additional columns. It has an intentional error in it in that it's referring to a column that is not in the incoming data frame. We can attempt to debug that, And we run into a few issues with pipelines, or debugging in the presence of pipelines. First, a long pipeline is actually a single expression, so we're not able to step into it with a line stepper. You see, we're either entirely before the pipeline or entirely after the pipeline, despite having set a breakpoint in it. We can overcome this first issue by replacing the Mergreeter pipes with Bizarro pipes, which are this little simulation of Magritte pipe by assigning into dot and ending the statement. This simulation only works if we use explicit dot notation in the pipeline that all verbs are taking explicit arguments from dot instead of implicit first arguments, and at the end of the pipeline we write assign out the result instead of left assigning the result first. Otherwise we won't capture the result. However, we've mechanically translated the function f n into the function fnb. We can now try the debugging on this modified function. Now we have hit the exact line we set the breakpoint at and the result, intermediate result is available for inspection either through the data inspector if the last value option is set in our studio or by printing dot. And you see we're in a state now of having completed the first step of the pipeline, but not yet having hit the bad part. However, there are at least two more issues with debugging pipelines, visibility of intermediate results and localizing the operations in the presence of lazy evaluation. Let's take a look at that by copying our data into an actual lazy data source, in this case, SQLite in memory. And now let's try to debug that exact same function on this new replicant of D, D2. We still hit the breakpoint at this line. However, we can step right past it because none of the calculations have happened until the, the calculations are triggered by some other evaluation, such as printing the result. And now we've again triggered the error with no indication really of where in the pipeline we failed. We've lost control of the step debugging. That issue can be mitigated by using the eager landing pipeline from the development version of Replier when forming the Bizarro pipe. So we eagerize this function by using the landing pipe from the development version of Replier instead of the assigned dot. We can set a breakpoint in the eagerized version of the function, and we can attempt to debug the database data source. Assuming, of course, we've defined the pipe. Now we've hit the breakpoint, and we have access to the value as it is. And if we step debug, we'll hit the error right then. Again, obviously we forced the calculation by pr printing dot, but we didn't have to do that in this case. This even works in the presence of function wrapping. If we were to make a parametric version of the function, where the names of the columns to perform the calculations on are taken as parameters and then bound to symbols by the wrapper let functionality, we can still debug. Because we're using a copy of the function, you see the debugger did not move us to the source code. However, we have enough details in this case to see what line we're at. We're at where QQ is assigned, and 
we see in the let substitution environment, the symbol V2 is actually the symbol Q. And again, we can inspect the intermediate value and hit next to trigger the error immediately instead of waiting until res is printed. This works even if we didn't bother to set any breakpoints. We can use again the wrapper functionality to pre-wrap the function, allow the failure to happen, and you see wrapper says it wrote the state of the function upon entry into last error, and then we can set a breakpoint and re-enter the function, and we get the same breakpoint. Again, we've not navigated to source, but we have enough information to figure out where the problem is. And again, we can look at intermediate results, and because of the eager lander, the next step will trigger the error immediately instead of waiting until we go all the way through all the operations in the pipeline. And there you have it, debugging in R for Magritte and dplyr pipelines using both wrapper and replyr and bizarro pipeline functionality. Thank you.